Hello? Hello, hello? Welcome, welcome in. Welcome. Welcome to the COVID crypt. But we keep it creepy and cozy. <laughs> it is time to stream. Um, yeah, yeah, don't necessarily have much planned in general. Um, I know we're doing horror art and I'm taking suggestions. Um, but beyond that, stream is kind of in y'all's hands. Um, let's see, let's see. I don't think I have any like updates since last time. Um, I had a very busy weekend, so I was not able to work on anything. Anything. Um, I would say a busy weekend as if <laughs> the weekend is over. But I like grass. Hope everyone is having an excellent little Saturday. Um, definitely trying to keep the weekend vibes rolling. I don't know. I don't know. I could always change things over, um, to like play a game. We wanted to see like Hollow Knight or something else. I think I'm gonna finally be done with this Ben Nye Clown Light. I think I am very close. We, this might be the last time we use it. I might be able to move on. I might be able to move on. Finally. Finally. Um. <laughs> we shall see. Uh. But yeah. Yeah. Let's see. There was more stuff, um, I might actually have time and energy to film after this. We'll see. Usually the art streams kind of tucker me out because it takes like a lot of brain power. And I'm like, even though I'm not like speaking, like I don't feel like that takes like as much effort as uh, trying to think of stuff <laughs> to draw. Hello, hello, Raven. Welcome, welcome in. Howdy, howdy. Hope that you're doing well. Hope that your Saturday has been going good. <laughs> I was just saying a bunch of intro stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, because I don't know. I don't really have anything to really update on. Um, it's not much has changed since Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I have been continuing to try and so like I don't know small update um i've been continuing to try and get uh this motorcycle battery working um so that i can actually use it for my <laughs> for travel <laughs> so i can go places <laughs> and do things um right now i'm kind of stuck on Either trying to get this battery to work or replacing it. Um, replacing it's gonna be like $30, which I'm like $40 <laughs> behind on my bills, so I can't, can't necessarily do that. Um, so we're trying to make it work, trying to get it working, but I am excited about having it running, and I'm excited about once I do get the battery figured out, and then I'm excited about being able to do stuff and go places once I get that settled and all the legal stuff figured out. Seems to be going decent so far. Excellent, excellent. 
Always good to hear. Always good to hear. I don't know. My day's been pretty chill. I mean, besides, uh, like I said, continuing to work on the electrical issues um, with this bike. been pretty chill. I woke up too early. Took a nap. Jumped back into reality uh, to prepare for stream. I woke up at a decent time, <laughs> which is very rare. Very rare, indeed. Um, usually I end up oversleeping anytime I close my eyes. I was expecting to help, uh, help Seth with the community yard sale thing going on, but I didn't end up, uh, I don't know, I guess that's what I did yesterday instead of today. So I don't know. Either way, uh, I haven't talked to him about it yet, so hopefully it went well. But, that kind of like freed up my Saturday in a very ambiguous way where I was like, do I have to be ready to get ready? Would <laughs> you know? I don't want to get started on anything too permanent. But, yeah, yeah. I don't know, um... Brain. Oh yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm excited about, uh... Excited about getting the bike running and stuff. I, I usually don't go places at all. Like, period. <laughs> um... But... It would be nice having an extra option uh, for getting back into, like, food delivery and stuff, to, like, supplement my, my income and all that stuff on, on slow art months, um, which I haven't, haven't been too keen on since, uh, I got shot at that one time. But, I don't know, I feel like doing it on, on the bike would give like a different, a different vibe, <laughs> a different vibe. that is a good enough little foundation honestly I think this is panned out enough like because every time I reach into it it's like not really giving me anything so we are officially done with our Ben Nye clown white so for future streams I'll be using Meron Clown light. So that'll be cool. That'll be fun. Exciting. A change. Change in the wind. But, yeah. Yeah. Especially, um, I don't know. Oh, that is something I was gonna do. Uh, so I mentioned filming after stream. Uh, depend again, depending on what kind of energy, <laughs> uh, I have after. But, um, oh heck. 
depending on what energy I have after, I'm getting makeup all over my hands. It'll be fine, I guess. Drivers around here are so bad, I'd be worried out there on a bike myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, literally, um, when I was carrying the bike from location A to B, where we're, uh, where I'm staying, um, the, like, literally, we had, like, some drivers, uh, like, go in front of the vehicle, like, turn over into a lane without any turn signal, and a bunch of other, just, just wildness, wildness, um, and, yeah, I don't know, it'll be scary, for sure, um, Especially since I have to travel uh, along an interstate route to get to the city, like the main areas of the city. Uh, so that's going to be sketchy <laughs> for sure. Because even like just the wind, even without people being reckless as hell. Um, but, you know, you know, it'll be fun. And I'm also very cautious. I'm a very cautious driver and vehicle operator in general i i don't know i don't ever expect anybody to do what they're supposed to do so I, unless they're coming up from behind me which i can hopefully listen out for i can generally have like an idea of like you know like i'm gonna stay like not only <laughs> not only i'm gonna i gonna stay like farther back from vehicles in front of me but i'm also going to be aware of vehicles beside me and whether or not like like stay far enough back for them to turn over and get over in my lane if they need to because i doubt they're going to give a damn if i'm in that lane or not when they do so um generally stuff like that um uh, but you know you know uh, same, same business, uh, had, I know several people that have, like, lost their legs and, and stuff like that, uh, driving around, driving around the state on, on bikes, so, hopefully I don't become among their number, but, what can I do? It's gonna be my only means of transportation. But yeah. And on honestly, like hopefully things will be a little bit a little bit more chill, like within like city limits where I'll be spending like the most of my time driving. Like I know people drive awful like in the city <laughs> in general. Um also. But uh hoping hoping that It'll be a little bit better since people are more cautious about like pedestrians and that kind of thing like slowing down <laughs> you know but we'll see i mean like we had a, there was a cop that hit a student on campus uh, a couple years ago at uab so we shall definitely see <laughs> um I definitely get the get the thing about it being scary though. Leg nodders. <laughs> but yeah. Uh ultimately I am I'm excited about it. I feel like I'm not excited about the like legal aspects of like getting licensing and registering vehicle because I hate dealing with the government the government but I'll hopefully be getting that settled soon as well and yeah yeah main thing also I need is um the current uh, the tires I have on it are, like, inflatable. 
but because the vehicle has sat in a garage for uh like four years the tires have dry rotted so i'll also have to replace those so they don't just like open up on me <laughs> on on the highway <laughs> But it's been a it's been a fun little restorative project. 1974 CB200. Very cute little bike. Very cute, very cute. Um but yeah. Yeah. We'll see how all that stuff goes. That's been like the majority of my life updates in general. If I'm not streaming, then I'm like dealing, like working on that, I'm trying to figure that out. Um, well, besides mutual aid, I've been doing mutual aid and stuff like that still, which is like the entire reason for me setting up this bike in the first place for the most part is just so I can get back and forth to there with no problems. I honestly wish I lived closer, just in general, so I'd have like access to everything. But rent's like ridiculously expensive all over. Um, I mean there was, there are like a few places that are pretty, pretty decent. Uh, I know I have friends that live in a set of apartments where the rent is like seven fifty, seven sixty. But that's still like way out of my range <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I don't know. Get things figured out. Get things figured out. See where the future takes me. I'm definitely more of a uh, leaf in the wind type of person anyway. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I am, I'm excited that we're done. We're finally done with this foundation so I can I can start breaking into this thing. <laughs> Meron Clown White. Watch it be like dreadful and just have like an a, like a enormous tub of it. <laughs> I mean, I'll have to use all of it, you know. It'll we'll just have bad foundation <laughs> for a couple years. <laughs> Cat jam.
Very close to having this done. Um... Again, I don't really know what what we're going to be drawing today. Um, I have a couple ideas in my head if we don't get suggestions early on. Stuff to start us out with, but... I don't know. My brain tends to go in a handful of directions, so I'm thinking I might try to change it up a good bit. I was also going to try, like, whenever it came down to streaming today, I was also going to try to, uh, I might have to take off my braces, my wrist braces, so won't be so hot. Unfortunately, I can't wear them for long periods while I'm streaming just because of the fact that, like, I don't have my fan on <laughs> in here, so it's insanely hot. Um, however, uh... Me. Me. I cannot wait for winter. Cannot wait for winter. Because fall no longer exists. <laughs> and it's either hot or cold. And at least in winter it's consistently cold. Because <laughs> I can't do the heat. Um. Heck, what was I even saying before I interjected with that? Uh. Oh, um, I was going to do a Rocksmith stream, um, or I've been considering it, because it would be a lot of fun. It'd be a lot of fun to do. Um, I want to get a decent bit better, or like, at least, like, practiced, you know? So I'm not, like, coming out of four to six months of not touching a stringed instrument at all into like playing it in front of people <laughs> um so i want to i want to practice a bit more before i start like working into that that sort of thing um but i think that'll be fun um it should be like as long as we set the game over to rocksmith it should be fine it's fine on the other platforms. Um, it was hard for me to find any specific information about streaming it here. Um, but... Meh. I mean, worst case, I think the music thing, they only... Um, like, they'll only mute, like, the specific areas with the sound in it. Um, so, it won't be, like, a big, like strike issue or anything like that i won't be getting hit with like a cease and desist <laughs> um so i shouldn't have to stress it and then i can just like cut the vods if uh that ends up happening um hopefully it won't though hopefully it won't um uh, rocksmith yeah it'll be fun it'll be fun um yeah, because I also have, like, CDLC, like, custom DLC for it, so we can play all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Um, I already have a good bit of, like, Dio and Grey, and Baby Metal, and, uh, Gazette, and Arch Enemy, and Turnstile, and, uh, Lorna Shore. <laughs> A uh, bunch of bunch of stuff. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, at least You know streaming it to test it out will be fun and then if we end up Not being able to do it like not being able to stream it then it'll be fun for that one time and then I can I Don't know I can like practice and play in the discord or something like Kind of like how I was like streaming anime and stuff just like pop in and do it on there 
Um, worst case, if they won't let me stream it here, I'll stream it elsewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be fun. Uh, again, I just gotta get a little bit more practice before I'll personally feel comfortable playing in front of people. Um, because the main thing is like, If I was at, because even whenever I was practiced, it's not like I was like amazing or anything, you know, um, but knowing where I was versus where I am now currently, um, I, that's, that's all that's going to be on my mind is like, damn, I used to be way better than this. <laughs> and what is happening? Why are my fingers not going where they need to be? Why don't I have hand strength anymore? Um, <laughs> various things like that, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Should be fun when we get around to it. Um, and then I'm also setting up to have, uh, there's this thing called, uh, Rock Sniffer that, like, essentially... Instead of doing our usual like gaming screen where it's like my camera down here and then like the game screen up big. Um, which I also edited to have like a larger game screen or a larger camera screen and then a smaller game screen for just in case. Um, but if I get this program and get it actually running properly, then I'll essentially just be able to run like my camera screen like this one and then just open up that browser source and then have the entire like gameplay stuff like down here um and then it won't even be like you know won't even be that different won't even be that different um and like it'll be a lot better as far as like showing what game or what song i'm playing and like having everything just fit into the stream as opposed to like being on a separate screen away from the stream um so yeah, yeah. another thing i've been working on as far as that goes um uh, haven't gotten much progress on it this weekend uh like i've like i've been saying i've been busy um because another thing i wanted to do is get more stuff up on the ko-fi shop uh didn't have time for that either. Oh, there's a little gnat flying around. There's like a singular gnat flying around. And I can't tell if he's showing up on camera or not. But he's frustrating me so bad. <laughs> so bad. He smells the heck in the peach juice in my monster. And it's just like... Just like going all over the place for it. Um... I mean, on top of the fact that, like, this entire area I'm at right now has a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of lights and LEDs. But, yeah, yeah. My roommate's dog is in my doorway and he's like I might have to stop and pet him <laughs> after I get this done. I don't know what's happening though. I think somebody might be here or something. Cause my roommate's other dog is doing a big bork. I at least wanna get all this blended. And then we can check everything else out. I can see what's happening. <laughs> I think the emotes on, on YouTube are pretty cute. They're pretty cute. Oh heck. I um I started to talk about this, but I didn't finish any sentence I had about it. Uh but the um 
filming stuff. So I'm about to be getting my stream key uh, for TikTok, but I've had to remove all of my videos from TikTok. Um, so I'm gonna have to film something explaining why there are no videos on my account because otherwise I feel like engagement will be extremely low. <laughs> We're like, what the hell? Um, but on top of that, uh, I want to, or I need to get more film stuff up on my YouTube. So I need to do an intro video uh, for folks coming in, folks saying hello or coming in whenever I'm not on stream. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably make the intro video, like, very based in the Frequently Asked Questions video. Um, and like, copy a lot of the format and things I talk about in that video. Uh, except for like, you know, obviously not, not starting with like, what are my teeth? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I started that video with, um, but yeah, yeah, I don't like it either. I don't like it either, but also I'm not like, I don't know. I'm not generating enough interest or engagement on anything I'm doing right now. And this is like life or death for me <laughs> so i gotta i gotta choose to be around bigots and expose myself to queer trauma <laughs> in order to get engagement um but honestly after the last couple streams being chill and like like the people that did come in that were mean were like it was really fun making fun of them uh <laughs> and i forgot how much fun it was like making fun of them um plus like all my inf if the the only thing that was like that kept bothering me for real for real was like whenever I kept getting docs because that was like just annoying it was like so annoying because it's like it held my entire stream hostage I'm like no <laughs> but ultimately like they are all my information is already out you know like and in, in these groups so not much not much, um, I really gotta worry about, I suppose. But yeah, yeah, I definitely share the exact same sentiment. I just, you know, you know. But again, like, since I'm doing stream key, focus will be more on my content. Maybe, you know, not while I'm doing makeup like this. Uh, <laughs> Um, but focus will be more on my content, like what we're playing, what we're doing. Um, and then on top of that, I'm not necessarily, because Seth was also asking like if I needed moderation and that kind of stuff. And for real, it's like, I don't know. I don't really think I do. Like, I don't really think it's necessary because in the same sense, like, I'm either going to be able to manually handle it myself, which I have to do when it comes to, like, blocking people who are repeatedly, you know, a nuisance. Um, or, like, it's beyond like when it gets beyond that like beyond my ability to do it myself it starts getting like too much for anybody honestly um and that's also part of doing things here like whenever we were multi-streaming beforehand this is the chill side of chat we have auto moderation on here <laughs> And, uh, it is a lot easier to just, like, close out accounts from interacting with anything.
because on TikTok there's no there's no option to be like hey you gotta have a phone number <laughs> in order to do this you know because people can just like whip out fake emails repeatedly as they've done in the past uh or just make new accounts repeatedly as they've done in the past but um yeah it's a little bit different over here so yeah i don't know that's another reason uh which i think i've talked about this before but another reason i got like all the um channel stuff uh and pop-ups oriented for this application but i don't know if it ends up being too much and ends up like being a garbage experience i can stop <laughs> like i need to say fuck it and stop um and see what happens after that but i don't know i don't know i just know i gotta do something different i gotta do something different for sure but let's see i got this powdered all that is left is my eyeliner and my liquid lip and we'll be ready to stream um i don't know if i want to match to this shirt with like some violets mm, no i think it'll be fine he has a lot before on tiktok couldn't keep up yeah i mean and that's the thing is that's why i'm like very heavy on like not like i don't know this time is definitely gonna be a different vibe as far as like how moderation happens because i'm not like everybody everybody consistently is like oh let me help you let me do this like and let me like work through this it doesn't bother me as much i'm like there's no way <laughs> like that's so much fucking work that's so much work and it's not it's not worth it it's not worth moderating out a bunch of hate comments just for a everyone to already see them in the first place right and then b like the people that get muted out the people to get blocked the people that like are replaced 100 fold repeatedly so it's definitely going to be a different moderation vibe um it's almost it's, it's literally just going to be the fucking elmo meme <laughs> with the flames in the back because like ain't nobody got time for that shit like if tiktok wants to make their platform safer they can fucking do it um it is not our job to do that uh and on top of that i shouldn't even be saying that the app's name i don't know why i keep saying it oh well um but yeah if they if they want to make their content and platform unsafe then that's their business um i can only make my platform safe and that's what we're doing here because this is my platform here on youtube and the other app is just for I don't know <laughs> like outreach discoverability because that's something that none of these other apps do properly is discoverability um but yeah yeah we'll see how things go we'll see how things go um because literally that's how that's how my entire platform got boosted in the first place uh if i remember properly because i was streaming like the first time i streamed silent hill uh, it was in front of no one. Entirely, no one. Um, and, like, I still had a good time, because, like, I, I just enjoyed, you know, doing this and chilling, and then it was, it was cool. Um, but then I started multi-streaming, and, like, that's whenever I got affiliate in a month, and, like, all this other stuff, and it was because I already had... A large platform over there um so i think letting that go to waste would be a bad idea for me in the current like the situation i'm in <laughs> financially in general in general um but uh yeah i don't know i don't know there's definitely good and bad and like i I don't know. I'm very on the fence about just like removing everyone as moderators on that channel. 
is removing everyone so no one feels obligated to moderate that shit. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's something I gotta do. I feel. I feel. And then again, like I said, chill side of chat over here. <laughs> Moderating this platform would be a, a million times more important anyway. Hello, Howl. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome in. Howdy, howdy. We're talking about the the nasty app again <laughs> again i got on that tangent <laughs> um oh because i'm gonna be uh I, I like how instead of applying my lipstick or anything i'm just like wiggling it around wait missed it clock out yeah yeah uh i got on that tangent because i was talking about needing to or like possibly starting up some filming after stream um, if not, then I'll be filming after stream another day. Honestly, honestly, it really depends on how my makeup looks after. <laughs> um, because if it's messed up, I don't feel like re reapplying it. But if it still looks good, then maybe, maybe I can film <laughs> if we have the energy. Um, but I need to make, since I'm getting my stream key soon, I need to make video explaining um explaining like what uh or like why all my videos are friends only right now um and then having just that one video up and not commenting on it at all uh because that's how they almost got my account banned was reporting every comment i made <laughs> on one of my videos so uh if i have that one video up Unless they mass report that one video, which they will do eventually, um, it'll be a lot less uh, of a detriment to my account, specifically, uh, rather than them mul reporting multiple videos, because then one person can get in multiple reports, as opposed to like multiple people having to report on one thing, you know? Um, especially since like the media agency I'm working with only protects me from bans on live videos uh be a little bit a little bit different um but yeah yeah uh I was I was talking about like moderation stuff on there how I'm like um essentially like generally like anti-mod on there uh I think at the level it was before it was good, but once it gets like above a hundred people in there, I don't think uh, moderating is going to be beneficial to anybody at all. Um, it'd be better to just like moderate over here and then let that whole app go to hell. <laughs> uh, considering like or like I was telling Raven, like if the clock app wants to keep its platform unsafe for people, then that's their business. It's not our job to fucking you know deal with deal with that shit if uh all it's doing is um i don't know if it's it's exposing i mean y'all the queer trauma seeing people berate me about it but it's definitely exposing me to queer trauma being berated about it <laughs> being the target of uh the discourse um so yeah, yeah, I don't know. Very much, very much just like fuck it. Uh, and then over here we'll have auto mod and on top of that, like more security on who is able to chat in the first place and like just easier, more moderation tools in general. I guess same business as it was last time when we were multi-streaming, but yeah, yeah. And then again, Luckily, it was chill these last two times that, that I streamed. Um, it was pretty chill and pretty low numbers, so don't necessarily have to stress about it. Uh, but I'm expecting it to go up again as we start streaming consistently. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, at that point, it, it's like, everybody, jump back over here and don't, go, don't engage with that nonsense. <laughs> But, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um. And then again, uh, like I've been saying a lot, uh, with the stream key, hopefully it'll be like more focused on my content as opposed to being focused on my face and personality, <laughs> which is like inevitable, like part of the experience, you know, but, uh, be a lot less like continuous bullshit with it. Oh. I did the thing where I drank too much caffeine before doing my makeup. Hold up. Let me uh let me check something very quickly and I'll be right back. I hear a bunch of noise going on. I'm like, mm. Infuddled. Uh, so I'll just put up the pause screen and I'll finish my liquid lip and all that stuff. Finish my makeup in a bit. Thank you, thank you all for hanging out. Make sure to hydrate. Get a snack if you need one. Uh, we'll finish the makeup up soon and then get started on some artwork. It was just uh like like for whatever reason my uh across the street neighbors are having are doing construction with like very loud and heavy equipment like full on like like heavy equipment like the the big vehicles that go beep beep when they back up um I don't know what the hell they're doing or what's going on um but it stressed me out <laughs> I keep getting like very nervous about uh like, oh, is my back okay? <laughs> General anxiety. <laughs> um, or not my bike. I guess it's just easier to say that than like divulge every time I bring it up. I don't even remember what we're talking about. Uh, I know it had to do with the clock app, but main focus besides all that, honestly, I don't like talking about that place. <laughs> um, or having to defend my reasons for, for jumping into it, which I feel like I have to defend to myself every time I bring it up. Um, or like, re-justify it to myself. Um, Focus was on filming. I'm gonna film. I need the film. Hopefully I will. I can't say I'm gonna because we gotta see how I feel after stream, but... That's a good bit of work that I need to get done. I need to do... 
I needed to do the uh, channel introduction thing on here in general anyway. It was my intention to get that done before ever streaming over here in the first place. I like the way it looks, but I'm like, there's something off about it. It's like off kilter a little bit. Like, I like the general shape that I was going for, but I have to touch it up. Just having like the like the large Cupid's bow area. This goes up really high. I don't know. Reminds me of a friend's makeup. A fellow clown. <laughs> um I'm gonna learn her next. Be yeah. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully that wasn't like a big bummer topic. I know it is pretty stressful to talk about. Or like, it's pretty stressful to talk about. I don't know how stressful it is to listen to. <laughs> um, or just think about in general. That was a nice little... I don't know, I like the way it's like really flat, like right there at the bottom. It's like the shape language. be all I do for that eye. Usually I'll do like a lot, but I think that that's pretty good on that one with just those those three. Let's see what we get out on this side. Obviously doing the upward wing as per usual. And then downward wing extending from it. Oh geez, the caffeine. Stop it. This is why I couldn't be a surgeon. <laughs> I'd be like on coffee number 12 and then I'm just like... Dunzo. Um, I don't really know what I want to do. 
I want to I kind of want to fit in something that goes with what we already have here instead of, hmm we extending out to the sides be better or I could go down yeah I like to the sides sides works better And then in rare circumstance, the sides of my lips won't be as asymmetrical. Boop, 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 boop. And that's our makeup. That is our makeup for the day. This is my makeup for the day. If you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> I should probably download that audio and then like have a redeem for it. <laughs> oh heck, heck. I need to do that as well. I need to uh because like I have all of our channel I don't even have all of our channel points done. What am I doing? I got so much stuff to do. Um I need to make a new to-do list. Uh firstly being shop items on the Ko-Fi. Then, the, uh, finish doing the heckin' channel points, or the, yeah, the loyalty points redeems and all that. I got the majority of them done. I have a couple more to do. Um, and then I also want to add in just, like, sound alerts. So I'll have to go back through, we had so many sound alerts. I'll have to go back through and add all those in. So, oh brain, <laughs> filming Ko-Fi shop sound alerts, and then I have to fit that in, like, when I'm not working on the motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know. We'll get it done. It'll happen. We'll figure it out. Um, I guess I'm gonna wear this choker since we're wearing the uh bat outfit the exhum looking good thank you so much thank you thank you yeah and then i guess to show off my outfit since i did bring up what my shirt has on it I'll just redeem my own outfit check very quickly Oh yeah, uh, that was the thing, so like, like, you probably remember whenever I was like, oh no, they don't do channel points for YouTube, uh, um, I figured out that it was, uh, heckin', it was because we had so many viewers on the other app, the other streaming app, that all of the YouTube ones were like, three pages down, <laughs> so... Um, which, again, I reset all that, um, reset all that, and then I, um, added in points to everyone that, oh, nope, that is not the redeem. Um, heck, gave back, uh, like, retroactively gave back all the points to people that were already subbed Sexy bean. or trying to. Uh, anybody that's been in the chat that's already subbed, I gave points to. Um, ah, yeah. Sexy beam. <laughs> um, and then anybody that has supported on Ko-Fi, uh, I gave the uh, 2,500 points to. Which I think there's a leaderboard... Or it might be points. I don't know. I don't know. Figured out. Uh, either way, I'm gonna do this outfit check that I redeemed, uh, just to show off my Pinku cult shirt. And then uh, I'm just wearing the standard little beaded skirt with the with the chain. They usually do. 
they usually do. <laughs> oh yeah, I had to give myself an absurd amount of points just so I could like test all of my stuff. <laughs> Apparently it was not points. It was not points at all. Maybe it's rewards. I don't know. I don't know. Um. But yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, heck, you got so many points, Raven. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's see. What else was I doing? Saying about it? I know, like, actively chatting gets you, like, double the amount of points per minute, and then, like, just staying in gets you points per minute, but I was so happy to figure out that it worked, like, with Streamlabs, uh, or with your YouTube's account. YouTube's account? <laughs> with your YouTube accounts. OMG, you really do. Points. Yeah, y'all should have a good amount of points. Uh, cause I don't think I don't know. Redeems haven't been that heavy in the stream. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> all the points. All the points. I was, heck. You know what? I'm just pulling up my heckin' to do list, and I'm gonna write it down. Because me saying it right now isn't going to do anything for helping me remember. Um, I'm just going to pop it up over here. To-do list. Because Streamlabs popping in with a timer message just reminded me that... Uh, 500 points for outfit check. How long does it take to get that? Um, so for anybody that subs, you automatically get a certain amount. Let me let me just pull up the um, Streamlabs screen for it, actually. So don't say anything inaccurate, and I have all the information in front of me here. Um, loyalty. Settings. All right. So in five minutes. Um. Uh, wait. Amount of time between each payout, and then. Okay. So every fifteen minutes, you get. Uh, sixty points. And then so. Um, I generally kept the same amount of points for redeems, uh, but I upped the ones that require me to, like, get up or, like, stop what I'm doing, and then, like, lowered the ones that don't, like, have an effect on that. Um, so on the other app, I think that the, like, we end up getting more points per minute than the channel points were on the other app. Like, I think about, like, 10 or 20, because you get 50 points. You get 50 points every 50 minute or 15 minutes on the other app, and then we're getting 60 per 15 minutes on here. Um, and then anybody that is actively chatting gets 90 points uh, per 15 minutes. So, like, I don't know. It kind of works out. Um, essentially, say we stream, like I stream for an hour, that's 400 points, uh, if somebody was actively hanging out the whole time, right? And then, that's right around there for, uh, for an outfit check, and I mean, to be fair, like, we probably don't need to be doing more than one outfit check per hour anyway, um... But, yeah, uh, then on subbing to the channel, people automatically get 200 points uh, so that they can like run like GG in chat or like the RIPs in chat. Um, 
then they also have an automatic thing where any like you get 200 points per us dollar for like the super chat and streamlabs donos and then uh because of that i auto match it with any like ko-fi ko-fi gifts so yeah yeah and then what else do we have yeah like the hydrate still 100 the outfit check and grinch cam since i gotta like stop what i'm doing for those those are 500 posture check is 200 since I, I kinda gotta stop what I'm doing, but not really. Uh, Rainbow Kitty Ears is 500. Changing the room light is 300. Because it's another one of those that I don't really have to get up to do anything, but I do have to like stop what I'm doing for a sec. Um, and then we have RIP, which is just like the you died <laughs> uh, thing. I don't know if it, like, typing it out or typing out the command RIP code, like, puts in the emote like it did uh, on the other app. Um, and obviously it, it's not going to mess with the microphone uh, unless I manually do it, unfortunately. Um, but uh, there's that one. And then we have This Is Cursed, um, <laughs> where we have like a goofy, goofy ass gif of uh, James chasing a, uh, I love the little hearts, <laughs> um, of James chasing a, uh, creature with a little pipe. <laughs> Heck, what is the, uh, I think it is just cursed. I think that is the one for it. It is, it is. All right. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Um, and that's mostly for like similar to like the RIP. Like, if we're talking about anything gross or anything, I figured it'd be fun to throw that in. Um, and then we have like the 10,000 point reward of changing the entire stream. <laughs> Just being like, no, we're playing games today. I got 10k points, I get to get to do it. And then, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And then, uh, like I was saying, or like I've been saying, the, uh, buttons all over my, I got buttons on my, um, website in the CloudBot tab. It's like, actually, let me see what is all on that tab of my website. Just to check. I'm live? What? Um... Cloudbot. Yeah, so there's a loyalty store um, that has like full list of all the stuff so you can just like click it in the website and then it like pops up the the thing and like shows you a little like gif and explanation for what the thing is supposed to be. Um... Then all the commands down at the bottom and then right or to the right of the loyalty store is our uh, leaderboard, which for whatever reason is cut off and I can't like I can't edit this tab on the thing. It's like auto generated by Streamlabs. So, yeah. We'll just have to like manually type in the leaderboard thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that is the the things. Let's see. Campbell Mert. Um. Trying to find the leaderboard. Me. I guess it doesn't. There isn't any code for it. That's odd. Oh well. 
Oops, got on a tangent. <laughs> My B. Um, the only reason I even opened this up was to check my to-do list. Also, uh, let's see what 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 did I need to do. It was. It was. I know, film intros and such. Uh, next one was. Um. Finish Cloudbot redeems. And then. It was literally it was literally the first thing I said. Oh. See, this is why I need to add it to my to-do list because I like right now I can't remember it. Um Heck. Filming the those videos for TikTok and here. Finishing the Cloudbot redeems for the stream. Adding all the stuff to the shop. Adding all the stuff to the Ko-Fi shop. Which does take a minute because I gotta like... It's not just copy-paste stuff, I gotta, like, manually put everything in as its own, own entire item, um, and it's, it's bothersome, um, but, got it. Alright, to-do list is updated, hopefully I'll get that stuff done. By next stream? I mean, usually I have a good bit of time Sunday, Monday, like that period. Um, but yeah, yeah. Then, now that that's over with, I just close that tab entirely. Let's open Clip Studio. Oh yeah, uh, let me know if y'all want would rather listen to um, our usual Clip Studio stuff or like which is my music or if we want to swap over to um, Pretzel Rocks and the lo-fi lo stuff they have on Pretzel Rocks, Chill Wave stuff they have on there. Just let me know, just let me know. I can even put a poll up if we want to do a poll. Um, but yeah, want to be playing music that everybody's interested in. Let's see, let's leave that untitled. Filled with a 50% gray. And then, yeah, yeah. Let me step over. Chow, chow. Um, actually, I might go ahead and take a small break. Uh, I guess technically I didn't take a break on that last little run. Uh, I just ran out. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take take a little small break and then jump right into it. Uh, for now, going to uh, heck brain. I just got completely lost. <laughs> Sorry, I just dissociated. Um, music is a bit loud. 
Okay, thank you for letting me know. Yes, it is. It is registering right there in vocal range. Hopefully that's a bit better where it's still like audible when I'm not like, you know, when I'm being quiet. Um, but let me know if, uh, if I need to change, edit it a little bit more. Also, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get some water and I'm also gonna, uh, take a small break, flush some cold air into my room, and BRB, um, yeah, it's good. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Um, if anybody has any suggestions for what we want to see, if it's like a creature or a person or any of that, any of that business, just let me know. Um... I don't know. I can I can work with work with whatever, and I can also just come up with something. But uh, yeah, taking a small break. Uh, and also, if y'all want to play words, I can leave it up. If not, just let me know. I can take it down. Um, but yeah, yeah. All right, BRB. Make sure to hydrate. Take your meds. Get a snack if you need one.
I'm like very, very confused at what word this could be that doesn't have any of these letters in it. Like, there's no. What vowels do we have left? The A E I O U. U is the only valid vowel we have. Um. <laughs> Right? <laughs> um, there's no S or R, so it's not like we could do like usurp. This is just to see if there's the word you. Oh, wait, never mind. I need to do a. Uh... Words. Just to see if there's a U in it. Buffy. That would. Mm, that one actually may be usable. Buffy works! And it works! Hold up. <laughs> wait! Wait, no. This is. This is- there's no way this is gonna work, but... I had to. <laughs> I had to put it. Wait, there's no S. I'm- I'm a fool. I'm a fool! Aw oh, heck, if this isn't the word, then I just goofed and ruined our chances. Yeah, it didn't work. Oops. Oh well. Either way, I am back. I am Mick. My hair looks a little goofy in here. Under these head headphones. Under this headset. Let's see. I haven't... So I left uh, my circular blue light glasses in a friend's vehicle. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Streamlabs split the, uh, split the thing, <laughs> the message. haven't worn these in a while. These are honestly a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, blue light lenses than my other ones. Than my cute ones. But, you know. But please. Just gotta get them all cleaned. Especially just because these frames make things like a lot. I don't know, make all the little Mistakes in there are a lot more visible. A lot more visible. Hold up. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Oh well. I like how I was like, uh, essentially like, the only way I'm gonna be able to film <laughs> later is if I don't mess up my makeup, and then I'm like, all right, I got time to put on my glasses. <laughs> um, fortunately, where I have them currently. They're literally being held up by my headset, so they're not touching my nose. Um, so maybe, maybe they won't be uh, messing with my contour here. Been wearing mine at work, and it's been better. Hey, that's so great! I'm so glad. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what it is, honestly. Like, it just, it just helps. It just helps. Honestly, if I could have like some like glasses that specifically like desaturate everything it'd probably be better but uh blocking out blue light definitely makes things more chill especially since y'all have to look at screens for uh for orders and stuff too right going between like IRL and screens repeatedly is bad news bears at least in my experience 
I'm gonna mute my mic really quick so I can pop open this can. God, I love it when, uh, accidentally dip your thumb in the drink. <laughs> e. E. Add the, direct, the sunlight. Yes, no. Not the best. Not the best. No good. No good. Um, I am going to move this. Lower. Oh, I goofed. Right? No, what is? Oh, no, that's oh, oh. I was like, where the heck is the rest of that word? Is that low enough to... Because, like, on my preview screen, my, uh, little logo... Oh, it's perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, on my preview screen, my little, uh, my logo fills up, like, a space on there. Um, oh, it looks like it's touching that in a weird way, though. There we go. Um, but yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Um, as far as what we want to draw, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let me go ahead, even if it's too hot to be wearing this, um, I'm just gonna have to suffer through it uh, for the sake of my hands and wrists. I gotta wear my little brace. And then hopefully once I get compression gloves, it'll be a bit of a different story. Won't be as much pressure on my wrist specifically. Cat jam. Cat jam. Cat jam. It doesn't look that bad with the with the art glove on there. Um Let's see. Got our gray screen. Oh man, I need compression gloves so bad, actually. Actually, actually. Uh, because this is not the vibe. I just like spun my hand like with the pin in it, and it's like, oh. Ugh. <laughs> um, let's grab. I guess since we're just- oh, that's not the tool. Not the tool. Um, since we're just like drawing around, I can uh, just do all of these sketch layers in black. I feel like that'll be a lot better. I can even, instead of working in like an actual inking brush, I can uh, roll with like something like that so there's like even less incentive to think about things uh, let's make hmm let's drop the size down and just up the thickness There we go. Um... Oh, 
don't know. I can also, uh, find some inspiration instead of just winging it. That's honestly the, like, worst, <laughs> the, uh, most aggressive, aggressively difficult part of the entire process is thinking of what to draw. Everything else is just kind of like, let's get it accurate to what's in our head. <laughs> um... go with some like amygdala looking creature. I think that'd be fun. Amygdala. Amygdala. Oh heck, I keep forgetting to like say during uh, the breaks as well. Um... If you're enjoying the content, please consider leaving a like and maybe a sub so we can get to our sub goal. You know, you know. Um, I I forget to forget to mention that I'm not used to saying the thing, but me saying the thing does help <laughs> help actually meet the goals and such. So. <laughs> But yeah, thinking we can go with like some kind of amygdala looking creature, um, amygdala from the Bloodborne, the Born of Blood. Obviously this won't isn't like fan art or anything, so won't end up like exactly like it. But I like the idea of like multi armed creature with abnormal head shape. Redemptions Oh uh, yeah. Boop, boop. Oh heck, it's doing the thing. I need to edit the. I need to add that to my list of of things. Is uh edit the. Um, things be under 200, under 200, um, characters. Because as of right now, it splits them up, and then, like, sometimes it doesn't even put them in the right order. Which is concerning. Uh... Bam, bam, bam. I hate character limits, but this is necessary. <laughs> no shrimp. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it was a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh, posture check. <laughs> Table flip. <laughs> I don't know, I figured that one would fit. I didn't necessarily know a better one, but yeah, yeah. Uh, what GIF plays for table flip? 10k points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's to change the entire stream. <laughs> um, the GIF that plays... Let me see if I can just like pull up my web browser. Um, uh, I don't think I have one for that. Or a scene for that. Um, let me whip out my website very quickly. And then just drag it over. And then do the tablet screen. Oh no, everybody can see the, the tabs. <laughs> um, so front page of my website. Um, let me not make this so big. Oh no. Um, a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. Think, and then perfect. Uh, Cloudbot. Uh, you can see all the gifts right here. Um, for each of the redeems, as well as like the little explanation. But this is the one for the for the table flip. It's not an actual table flip. Uh, <laughs> every 10k <laughs> stream DVD. You're totally welcome to. You're totally welcome to. I mean, at that point, you like if if you can get 10 10,000 points, you definitely deserve to be able to change the stream. So no stress, no worries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, bunch of creepiness though. Um, let's see. This one's like the funniest in my opinion. Hello, hello, Q. Stopping by to say hello from my lurking. Well, welcome, welcome in. Thank you for for saying hello. Thank you for the lurk as well. Thank you, thank you. Hope that hope that things have been chill. Oh yeah, the rainbow kitty ears with all of the the dancing uh Robbie the Rabbits. Most of these are Silent Hill. Like the only ones that aren't is the uh Dark Souls You've Died and the Grinch Cam. I was going to make the Grinch Cam the uh like lizard from Silent Hill 1. Um, but it just didn't like it didn't land. Like I don't think it would was like gonna be like as uh visible or descriptive but yeah yeah that's all the redeems and then again uh the leaderboard is over here but uh streamlabs decided that it's gonna break it i don't know 
Um, but... And then all of the channel point rewards. Uh, yeah. Let me swap back over to just the Flip Studio. <laughs> Let's see. I think... Of zero points. What the heck? What the heck? Wait, you're subbed, right? I can, at the very least, uh, give you points. Think. Cries into my quesadilla. <laughs> uh, you've also supported on Ko-Fi. On top of uh, on top of subbing. So Ko-Fi is oh heck hopefully i'm doing this right uh otherwise i can do it like in the website but i'm gonna try to do it in chat um the this like 2500 for the ko-fi sub and then an extra 200 for the follow on here I'm sub, but I don't get points TV lurking. Oh, let's see, I get it. I get it now. Um, but you did support on GoFi, so that should... Hopefully that works. If it doesn't, then I can also manually do it over here. Uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and open the site so I can make sure you got your points either way. <laughs> um, I can just, like, check the heckin... Ones. Oh, it's add points, not give points. I goofed. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're the one that heckin' supported me and supports me? And then... I'm not doing anything special, you know? I gotta add over here. Yeah, hopefully that should be accurate. Add points, name, and an amount. Should be accurate. There we go! Excellent, excellent. Pro Ace, Crow Pride, Crow Trains. Yeah. I like all the little Dead by Daylight Crow emotes. I wish I could add more, but that requires... Well... I could. <laughs> I, I'd have to, like, take off some of the ones that we don't use as often if I wanted to add more. But, um... The... There's also, like, a better Twitch TV, uh... Or better to TV emotes, like, premium, where you get, like, an unlimited amount of the... Unlimited amount of the, uh... Emotes. Miss our custom emotes. Yeah, I can add them in. I can add them in on Better TTV also. Um, and make them private so that <laughs> people won't just like steal them. Um, but, uh, I can add those in. I'd have to like remove a handful of the ones that we have up. Um,. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but I can fit those into the better TTV ones. Um, at the least, I wish I could add them in on just like the standard stream. You know, you know, but integrations. Very slow to roll in over here. <laughs> Um, but I can also work on that, if that's something we want to do. Yes, please, you worked hard on those. Alright, yeah, I can, I can fit those in, um, I guess just, uh, or I'll type out the better TTV, and then y'all can let me know which ones, uh, we'd want to replace. I know I got, like, at least three. Oh wait, no, is it... Is it just emotes? Yes, agree again. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm personally not able to see this, even though I have the extension. Wait, did we type it out at the same time? No, we didn't. It's just a very long message, I guess. Wait, no! Both of the commands that I typed out, typed it out, so... Oops. They worked. <laughs> Both of them worked. Um... What was that? What was that? Somebody supported on Ko-Fi? Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you! Wait, is that broken? What is going on? Oh, no, my screen is just like tilted over. Thank you, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the subscription. Hey, <laughs> yeah, ooh. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> it's my own fault for adding the Silent Hill 3 sounds to everything. Yeah, let's go. You wavy. <laughs> oh wait, this is a way. That's a point my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And then, uh, like I was saying, I manually add in... Well, actually, I need to do the Rainbow Kitty ears as well. Um, but manually add in that, and then it's like, let's see, it's like, what else, what is the, it's like 200 per dollar on, like, the automatic Streamlabs one, so for Ko-Fi, it's 5 times 200, math, 1000, got an extra 1000 points. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then Rainbow Kitty Ears. Oh, boop. I gotta make sure not to use my <laughs> my number pad. <laughs> yeah. Rainbow. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. The big, the big event. The big event. I, f I didn't realize that it does like a sound, but I guess I also had the, the sound like low. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for everybody. If it was, I can like change how things work, but that was really fun. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like the little jump scare that happened. <laughs> Rainbow Kitty Ears! Yeah! Got Carolina Reaper Almonds. I thought about you, by the way. Hey! I've actually had those before. They're really good. I really enjoy those. Yeah. I, um... Unfortunate. I would, honestly... Like, just for the sake of the fact that you donated towards that goal, I would just, uh eat one, but they're all gone. They all, they all perished, perished. They succumbed to time. 
Um, which I have like other spicy stuff I could eat. Uh, but yeah, I really like the the Carolina Reaper stuff. I like those almonds. Um, they also have like like spicy dill almonds and some other ones that were good. Very good, I think. Yeah, I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them. No, no, we agreed you didn't need to. Is one donate. Okay, okay, I appreciate. I appreciate. I still. I think it'll be fun to do on stream sometime. Maybe. One day. One day. Maybe if, uh. We get like. I don't even know if I have spicy food on my little snacks wish list. I can add something and then like uh do that where like I unbox or eat whatever on stream. I feel like that would be cool. Or I could just like do actual videos for <laughs> for that kind of thing. Like the like ac actual YouTubers do. Giving him a weird, weird, lumpy, lumpy body. And based on this bit of foreshortening we have, he's he's very long, very long. Can make YouTube videos cut out of VODs. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, a lot of I know a lot of uh, YouTubers do that too. I mean, technically I do <laughs> as well. Uh, I do have like the unedited VOD cut channel, um, which I think is just gonna gonna perish. I don't know. I'll keep it around for like posting stuff I don't want to be here for whatever reason. Um, Or like quick updates or like old videos or that kind of thing. Um Yeah, I really don't know what to post there now that all my VODs are here. Uh but yeah, yeah. I'll just have to get around to like actually editing stuff. Which I guess would make even more sense for me to <laughs> just like do it on stream and then cut it for a video um purely for the sake of like if a if i'm holding off for the like lack of motivation to edit like what makes me think i'm gonna be able to film and edit <laughs> to that degree you know I keep going for like lobster legs and crab legs, but maybe I don't need to do that <laughs> on everything. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that'd be fun to do any of the snack redemptions we get because that was one of the things like uh, whenever I got bought food last time, like the peanut butter and such, it was kind of difficult. Or like, not difficult, uh, I felt kind of bad because it's like I didn't do any content to show how much I actually enjoyed it, you know? So, yeah, yeah, I think... Oh yeah, because it was like the chocolate peanut butter as well. That stuff is so good. That stuff is so good. <laughs> that did not last long whatsoever. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I think I'll do, uh, I'll do that. Even though it's very odd, I'll have to, like, 
take out my teeth and do all that. I'll take out the small spoon. The small spoon. The little baby spoon. Oh neat, I just linked my account so show on my phone. I'm watching, but can't type in chat. Oh, but I can type in chat. Technology! Yeah! <laughs> We love, we love to see the, the technologies. Thank you, by the way. Thank you, thank you for, uh, for setting that up. Setting it up, doing the thing. I think it still counts, uh, viewers, or like viewership, when you're not signed in, maybe? I don't know. It's not counting, counting the little, uh, extra, extra screen I got over there, or, uh, like utility purposes for like when I take breaks I can still see what's up on going on when I leave the room but um I don't know I don't know I don't necessarily know what to do With these hams. What these hams doing? I guess something like that. You're welcome. I'm figuring things out. Side note, the food blue diamond almonds are amazing. Yeah, I, uh... I really enjoy those. I think that's the same brand that makes those, uh... The ones we were talking about with the, uh, Carolina Reaper almonds and the... Uh, like, spicy dill almonds. And... They also have, I think they also have like ghost pepper almonds and stuff. I don't know. I really enjoy them. They go out very quickly though, because I'll just like eat a can in one sitting. Um, but I love them a lot. They're very nice. Very nice. Yep, blue diamond. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I really enjoy those. I think I've seen the spicy ones, possibly the ghost one at fresh time. <laughs> I think... I think we have a fresh time around here somewhere. Uh, I mean, I've seen... I've seen those almonds at, uh... Places like... like, Parge and Walmart. Um, as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> Howl! What the heck? Thank you so much, Howl. You're already on a monthly sub. <laughs> thank you, thank you for for the sub and the support. Let me run the kitty ears again. Should be a little bit less time consuming now that I got it set up. Bam! Oh, I accidentally- I didn't click the the insert number part. I changed the thing. Alright, there we go. Bow, bow, bow. Rainbow! I accidentally subbed as a guest last time. Oop, oop. 
Well, either way it is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's um add points. Ciao. I had to make a new Ko-Fi so I could do it right. You're too sweet! You're too sweet! Y'all are spoiling me! <laughs> I'm being spoiled! Bell, bell, bell. Get the points, get the points. Creeping that much closer to overtaking the stream. 66%? <laughs> yeah, uh, that goal's just set up because, um... I gotta. I have to pay a subscription to Ko-Fi for uh, basically getting all the features, like be having people be able to download um, download stuff uh, for like the wallpapers and that kind of thing. And I think also the subscription includes like being able to run the commissions and shop items uh, without paying Ko-Fi a percentage. Um, so, in general, like, that goal is entirely just to make things better for everybody, uh, that subs. So, yeah, thank y'all so much for, for helping contribute to that. Making sure, you know, or helping pay for everybody's benefits. Very, very much appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Also, speaking of just like subscriptions and paid services and all that stuff, I am so close to just teaching myself HTML and then building my website on Tumblr. Um, because I've done a little bit of like Tum- actually, actually, let me, let me do this. Uh, I'll do the same dang thing that I did earlier, or just whip a screen over. Um, and show you all right here because I'm fancy. Beep boop boop bop. Beep boop boop beep boop. Um, oh, but I've been like editing, so like my art gallery. Bow bow bow. Uh, yeah, my speakers are off right now, but as soon as you open the this website. What's playing for me currently is very loudly uh, my own music. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I have my whole like my SoundCloud, like all of my music, like just integrated into the thing, and it like auto plays as soon as you open up the gallery. Um, then it also has my support button for my Ko-Fi. It's like right here just like integrated um and then obviously this is my art gallery so it's got all my prints and stuff on there um just up front but uh i can fully just turn my main page into or like not even my main page but just have a tumblr page that is just my website so yeah i think i, I think i'll end up doing that uh, cause Streamlabs website is like super cool. Um, at least it was a lot cooler when there was like the integrated, like, live stream and that kind of thing. Um, and this blog part is pretty cool too, I guess, but I can also set that up, uh, manually. Holy heck, 23 people online? The Discord is getting so big. Um live but yeah yeah uh i think i'll eventually just rock over that way because at the moment since i've left the other app and apologies for getting on this tangent actually uh probably not probably just me rambling um but on the other app it like there was more benefits because that was like also our custom bot and our custom stuff you know um however now that we're on this application the only thing i'm paying for essentially from my streamlabs premium 
is multi-stream. Oh heck, I can't get rid of that. Dang it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. Tangent over. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Eventually, maybe I'll uh I'll run run that, which I think I can multi-stream on OBS for free. So I just have to set that out, actually. That'd, that'd be so much work moving over our bot and all of it, but... $20 a month for a Streamlabs Premium is expensive. Expensive as hail. Um, but right now, that's what my website's running through, and it'll be what my multi-stream is running through once we get the the TikTok code and all that. Um, stream key and all that. Uh, but maybe, maybe eventually uh, we'll be able to work around work around things and get them less like a per stream kind of deal. I don't really know what I want to do with these uh, lower appendages. Like we have a very humanoid figure up here. Um, and I feel like to like capture the depth of like how tall this creature is, they would have to have a uh, something going on. Also don't like that arm. Um I have to have something going on like a uh like I don't know, like this be where like their knees are. Right? But at the same time I don't I don't really wanna wanna play around with that. I don't really like the idea of like legs. Like humanoid legs, uh, purely for the sake of I don't want to don't want to deal with that area <laughs> at all. Um, so maybe instead, he's just like a spider from the bottom half down, which I have kind of overplayed. To be fair, I do this a lot. Just walking around on little needles. Oh, also, sorry for getting on that tangent. Uh, it kind of interrupted, <laughs> interrupted the the celebration. A little celebration for the support and such. That I very much appreciate. This kind of makes sense. It doesn't really. It doesn't really. Especially since, uh... Nothing here is, like... Built to hold, sustain any of this weight. <laughs> this massive, massive little guy. goofing around anyway.
Everything is very lacking compositionally due to our the improv nature of this little guy. Yeah. I don't know. One little creepy sketch. And I'll start on the next one. On the next. And if anybody has uh, suggestions, as uh, the stream title itself suggests, um, just let me know. I'll work them in or keep them in mind for the next piece we start. this hollow vibe that we got going on. I just don't want, like, the mouth we use to, like, detract from it. Just look at basic shape in, and then I'll mess with some other areas for now. Hello, hello! King Thunderstar, welcome, welcome in. How is it going? We're just drawing some, some creepy stuff and things. Trying to figure out what kind of shapes, what kind of shape language we want things to have. Help convey the meaning we want. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome in. I think this face is kind of squart, which is like what's what's messing with me like this distance like eyes to chin and then like nose to mouth is like off like they have a really tucked in nose that's fine you know you know are you doing zelks i'm doing pretty good i'm doing pretty good uh had a busy little friday and chill day today, so yeah. <laughs> Been pretty chill. Trying to get uh get the work done and such and such. Thank you, thank you. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Um Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The <laughs> got my my glasses on. <laughs> um, I left my little round glasses in a friend's car. 
so I'll have to get those another time. If I rem if I remember, <laughs> if I remember to. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. How have you been? How has your weekend been starting out so far? If I had a lot of money, I'd have you paint my face. Yeah, uh, I've done, I've done makeup commissions and stuff like that. They're always fun. Always a lot of fun. Um, that being said, I. I actually don't have uh, materials for it yet. Um, I have my water-based palette that I use for makeup and stuff. Uh, was using for commissions, but now I've kind of just turned it into a personal palette. <laughs> uh, I think I'll move. If I if I were to get back into doing makeup commissions, I would have to move into um, getting another alcohol-based palette. You know. Keeping things sterile and sanitary and safe for people's skin. All those things. Weekend's been alright, I think. <laughs> well, oh, hopefully it becomes uh, more clearly an alright. Uh, but I'm glad to hear that uh, it has been alright. <laughs> yeah. Always good to hear about things going at least decent. It's hard to come by. Look pretty even the glasses on. <laughs> well, I wasn't saying they detract from anything. I was just mentioning them as a as an accessory on my face. On my face. sun hat on. Besides the, the hollow eyes, this one isn't like that scary. It's just like a sketchy <laughs> sketchy little drawing of of a person. So we might do I guess it'd still fit in like horror genre if it's like you know. I don't know. Creepy kind of person. Like Zambi. Zambi. Or a vampire. Or something. I don't know. Typically, like, the scariest kind of horror to me tends to be horror, like, that's just... Just a guy. <laughs> you know? Just, just, a, just a person. Uh, because people are capable of some very horrific things. Um, but I do like it when we're conveying horror for it to like speak very, very distinctly. Uh, what it is, what genre it sits in, um, purely for the sake of 
readability. Kind of looks like Jeepers Creepers a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With like the hat and stuff. It's definitely fitting like that farmer vibe. Like, I guess that's what was in my head whenever I was sketching, sketching it. Like farmer. As you know, horror games always got some kind of farmer stuff going on. Um, I know I've definitely seen some in Resident Evil before, and some uh, in The Evil Within. Dang gnat. Dang gnat's like, what the heck, I smell peaches, where's the peach? <laughs> What if you made, and I know I do this a lot, <laughs> what if we made them as a part of, like, uh, there's this concept in a lot of horror where the, uh, also the hemorrhaging picture looks more like a freaky female monster. <laughs> yeah, I like I like that piece. We did that piece on stream as well. I don't think I have the VOD for it though. Um, that was another one of those that kind of fit. It's like this one where we just kind of went with something and then kind of filled it out. Um, hemorrhaging is definitely in like a was in like a self portrait esque nature. I feel. I feel. What do you mean a lot of them tend to be? Um, since a lot of my feature pieces tend to incorporate feelings that I experience, um, a lot of them tend to be in like a self-portrait kind of vibe. Even though they're not directly self-portraits. Um, oh heck. Oh, uh, but there's like this, this type of creature in a lot of horror genre stuff where the, uh, let's control T, uh, the creature is like, has some kind of like humanoid visage that it can like, peak like around the corners or like used to mimic like human speech and that kind of thing um but then like it whips around or like you see the whole body of it and it's like a nasty a big old nasty so we could go in that direction with this how is the hammering monster supposed to see with vehicles on her head <laughs> well that's kind of the thing uh she can't see um she the it's not necessarily like tentacles so much as like a maelstrom a storm a uh like just a mess just a mess thoughts exploding and extending out in uh painful and uh, chaotic nature, um, so her, her not being, her being blind, not being able to see very much fits in with the, the nature of the piece, uh, versus, like, the, like, eyes around her being, uh, like, eyes, eyes on her, eyes on sir, um, but yeah, yeah. What are you wearing on your right hand? Is a glove of some kind? Oh, uh, this is a, um, well, this is a little artist glove for 
digital work so that I don't like wipe anything on my screen. And then I also have a uh, compression wrist brace so that my, my hand don't hurt. My hams don't hurt. Um, I also need to get some compression gloves for like my fingers and hands so that I can like have those feel better because uh, those tend to hurt a lot as well. Um, but at least for now, I got my wrist, my wrist taken care of, so like I won't have any as much pain in my wrist. Yeah, uh, this one's just for like making sure the screen doesn't get greasy or anything like that. Um, also a picture with a creature looking, I guess, drowning has some symbolism in it. Yeah, I mean, all uh, like I said, all the all of my artwork is. Uh, symbolism of various, various experiences and emotions. Um, the, uh, I like how, I'm like looking over at them as they're like <laughs> down below me. Um, but, and each of them also has, uh, poetry accompanying with it. Yeah, on my, uh, on my website, if you go to the gallery section, um, there is, uh, there's like, all the pieces have accompanying poetry with them that kind of explain like the kind of feelings and vibes and, uh, experiences behind them. Um, but for the most part, they tend to be like around my, like, struggles with mental illness. At least all these feature pieces. Um... Yeah, thank you for the for the artwork in chat as well. Um, I can say the Ko-Fi uh, is probably going to be my main little area where I start keeping stuff, all my all my artwork stuffs. Do you have the website say bookmarks on laptop? Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Have to head off for the night, but I'll be lurking. No. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the stream. Yeah, thank you so much, Hal. Thank you for hanging out and chilling. Thank you for the support on Ko-Fi earlier. Thank you, thank you, thank you, always. Hope you have an excellent evening. Good night, good night. And thank you for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. Let me send a good night in the chat. Yeah. Struggling with mental issues myself. Yeah, I, th I think that's like... I don't know, like... That's why I tend to draw in on, uh... Yeah, good night, good night. Um... That's why a lot of my, uh, stuff tends to... Draw in on the heckin'... Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. In general, I think this is the lurk one. No, that is not the lurk one. We got a free rainbow kitty ears. Um, I'll play the lurk after this. <laughs> got the lurk. Halovich is now sinking into the fog. He will view the stream from the abyss. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Oh, but a lot of, that's why like a lot of my artwork tends to focus on like the feelings incorporated in it instead of like any kind of labels or like descript like thing. I think the closest that I've came to like that is uh the imposter syndrome piece. Um but again that's like a feeling, you know. Um a lot of a lot of them tend to go around like that vagueness or like specific instance so that like I don't know a lot of people can can relate with it like and not like for the purpose of a lot of people relating with it but like in general I feel like that's the outcome of of that kind of expression is like people can see it and feel what it means as opposed to like uh I don't know just being like ah oh, yes this is about that you know it's more like 
I feel loneliness and I feel like torment and I feel defeat, you know? Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's why I like doing, doing the art thing. <laughs> uh, most of my motivation comes out of expressing uh, a lot of those feelings when I get overwhelmed with them. Uh, and then folks are able to relate with that in some way, or me. Uh, today though, on <laughs> on this stream, we're just we're just drawing drawing creepy things because creepy things are cool. But you know, usually, if I do a feature piece, it's usually wrapping around something like that. Uh, so was this picture making didn't say it was like evil den type creature uh, this right here is uh, So far it's just a person, but I'm gonna try to creature it up um, The uh, It's not really anything I guess I've just been drawing stuff off the top of my head for the stream um, Before this we did like this uh, Amygdala bloodborne looking looking guy with, I don't know, this, this base area kind of feels very, um, very, uh, Cthulhu-esque, even though I don't really, I don't like HP Lovecraft, I don't, uh, consume his media, um, <laughs> even though consuming his media does not support him as a person because he's dead as hell. Uh, I still don't like that man enough to just stay away from his his stuff. The Adams family and the monsters would love your artwork. I feel I feel that uh, I feel like tons of tons of creepy folks like like the the cool and creepy things. Now it looks like a Resident Evil or Silent Hill monster. <laughs> Like some HP Lovecraft. I don't know. I I don't mess with him or like his content uh, simply for the sake or like for the fact that like he's just extremely racist. Like horribly, horribly racist. Like so racist. Like he's racist against like Welsh people and just all around just awful. Um, so I don't really, I don't really vibe with it. Uh, though I know that he does, did shape a lot of, like, horror genre, like, current horror genre, and a lot of people are into them. You know, it's a little bit different, uh, than anything else, because, you know, he's dead. He's dead as hell. Good riddance. Uh, so, like, or, like, being interested in his artwork and, uh, storytelling is, or not artwork, but, uh, storytelling and creatures and the art based on those is not not awful, I suppose. Hello, hello, Gabriel. Welcome, welcome in. Got COVID. No. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I I had such an awful time when I got it. I I very much empathize. I very much empathize. Hopefully you get well soon. Are you still like? Did you just get sick? Or are you like recovering? Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't hit you as bad. Fortunately, I'm a uh, double vax, so I didn't, I didn't get too bad into it when I got it. I got like, like three or four days of migraines and couldn't sleep. And then after that, it was just like struggling to breathe. Um, but... Yeah, hopefully it's not hitting you too bad. I'm very sorry that you got it. Got sick about a week ago. All right, well, hopefully, hopefully you're in the back end of things then. Hopefully, hopefully. Just only let HP love to work, basically it. Yeah, I mean, you know, since he's dead, there's definitely that uh, supporting the art and not the artist thing. Like, that actually exists. Um... Is, I don't know. Some people try to say that for like living artists, and it's like, well, they're 
just supporting them is like paying them money <laughs> like it's helping them survive and do do continue being the per person that they are um <laughs> but since he's gone you know have my shots and boosters so it's not too bad for me that's good that's good i'm very glad i'm very glad uh I still haven't gotten my booster, which apparently I can get like my booster and flu shot at the same time now. So I guess it's kind of good that I waited a bit. Which I also got sick recently, so I'm kind of waiting on, waiting on that uh, or the immunity from that to clear up, <laughs> and then, and then fit on that. I used to draw guitars, basses, and drums a long, long time ago. Heck, instruments are so difficult. Instruments are very, very difficult to draw. Uh, or at least, I don't know. Like, it's a bit difficult for me to draw. <laughs> Anytime I try to get the, uh, like, the body shape of the, um, the, like, guitars or anything like that. Or, like, try to get the strings to lay straight. Oof. Big oof. Big, big oof perfectionist when I draw. I feel that. I feel that. I'm trying to break myself of that so I can get more expression like get more expression in my pieces um because otherwise I'll just sit there and like this looks horrible <laughs> you know uh so I've been slowly trying to break myself from it but you know you know as you can I, with the the flu shot and the booster new vaccine is starting to arrive in my work awesome awesome Never got the vaccine, nor did I ever get COVID. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, definitely glad you didn't get sick. Hopefully you didn't get, like, asymptomatically sick. Um, which, I mean, vaccines don't stop transmission in general anyway. Uh, but, um, glad, glad you didn't have to deal with that. Haven't had to deal with that. I went three years without getting it. <laughs> and then I got, um got it uh all heckin at one time i am having brain issues <laughs> from it <laughs> um but yeah i went three year or like the entire pandemic and then like a couple weeks ago wow wow got hit with it i literally go out double masked uh and i got it because my uh i wasn't wearing glasses and so somebody breathed in my eyes <laughs> and I got it um definitely be safe everybody please um yes that's why I did get them all done in one go is convenient yeah you could draw a little band oh yeah with all the get all the instruments in that'd be cool drawing bands is cool doing fan art that's so fun. Uh, the delay. I can't remember. I can't remember what they're saying when that message popped up. But you know, you know. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was doing doing this one. Doing the. Uh, I don't necessarily know what I want to do with it. I know I don't really want to copy the posing that we had for the other one. At the same time, at the same time, what if we did a little bit? And the eyes are a window to the soul, and their window getting sick too, I guess. <laughs> Literally, uh, for realsies. Um, at least with water bottles water droplets and airborne pathogens and whatnot. Instead of redrawing that, because I really like the shapes that we got in, I'm just going to copy paste. And beep, 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 beep. And then flip. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. 
But yeah, uh, that sucked. That sucked. And the main thing that sucked about it is like, I didn't know, because uh, the only time I really ever leave my house is to go do mutual aid. And like, I don't know, like just being sick, like there and like possibly like trans, like whenever I realized I got sick, I was just like, oh no, I could have just transmitted this to literally like so many people I work with, which means like, and if like there's no people to do the work there, that means people don't get groceries, that means people don't get clothing, that means people don't get like all sorts of stuff. Um, and so yeah, that was really scary. <laughs> I was like, I could have just like, I could have just like, uh, fucked a lot of people out of getting, getting very necessary help. <laughs> um, so, didn't enjoy that. Plus, like, everybody, like, I don't, I don't know, uh, where I sit on the financial total poll with everybody, but, um, we definitely interact with folks that, like, are immunocompromised and folks that don't have access to healthcare, like I don't, and... I don't know, just putting people in that position is definitely a, a no-go. A no-go. It was very scary for me. Uh, but luckily everything turned out really chill, um, and... Now that I have been testing negative, able to, like, help out with that. So, help out with that again, so... Yeah. Just being extra careful. <laughs> yes, six feet, six feet apart. The social distance. I, I'm happy that there's a little emote for that. That's really cute. Arachnid friend with a straw hat. Yeah, I was thinking like a scorpion. A scorpion, possibly. Now you're definitely making a creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we got it in. We got it in. Sounds really stressful. Yeah, I mean, in... I was probably stressing out about it more than more than other folks were, but it was definitely like one of those things is like, oh, uh, <laughs> you know, like kind of defeats the the purpose of everything I was doing there. End up causing more more harm than good in that instance, right? Be stressy. Really sad when my 30th birthday came two years ago. Aw, oh, heck. I mean... I don't know. I... I tend to view age in... Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Sorry. Uh... I tend to uh, view age in, like, this... way where I'm, like... Not really aware of it. Yeah, happy, happy thirty second. Whenever that comes around. Um. But I, I don't know. For me, I'm like. I don't remember my birthdays. Like I don't. I don't know. I don't. Like when my birthday comes around, I don't usually celebrate it for. Loads of other reasons, um, but uh, as far as like how old I am, I don't really put that much context on it um, until it's like somebody asks me how old I am. I'm like, oh yes, I'm this this age. <laughs> um, I don't know. And similarly, I don't have any like internalized like ableism or not ableism. Well, able I don't, don't have any internalized ableism or at the very least I work on it constantly you know uh, as with any any kind of uh, internalized isms that I am unaware of constantly working to better myself as as everyone should do um, but uh, ageism I definitely definitely kicked like at a very young age so like I don't there's no negative connotation for me for like aging 
April 19th. Yeah. Very, uh, heck. I'm trying to think of interesting things about April, but my brain was like, April showers? <laughs> I'm like, just stop. <laughs> stop, brain. <laughs> <laughs> Happy early late birthday, very merry unbirthday to you. <laughs> the day before 420, yeehaw. Yeehaw. An Aries. Yeah. birthday I think it might uh might have been to me maybe maybe love this creature well they seem friendly ish the uh yeah I mean they got a vibe to them uh they're about to be a big old millipede because <laughs> I was like hmm a scorpion or millipede <laughs> It's from Alice in Wonderland, a very, uh, every day that isn't your birthday is your unbirthday. Ah. Old school Alice in Wonderland. I read that book. That's like one of the last books, uh, I read. Which was a long time ago. Uh, actually, I don't even think it's the last book I read. Technically. Or like one of them. I think I've read quite a few books since then, but it's one of the more memorable ones <laughs> um, for me. Reading through uh, Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland that I got for free at some point. Gemini, birthday is Memorial Day. Hey. Uh, I am... A Sagittarius Sun and Moon. Um, again, I don't really don't really celebrate my birthday for many reasons, so necessarily say the date. Um, but yeah, it in it in December, December. Last book was Song of Achilles. That sounds like a good read. That sounds like a very good read. Sagittarius Moon 2. Hey! Excellent, excellent. Can't stay long because I'm tired as hell. Yeah, no worries, no worries at all. <laughs> Yeah, definitely when you when you head out, good night for sure. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out. Always, always. I'm like I'm trying to think I guess I'll just put it in a different layer, even though we're just like doing silly little sketches. I'll get this. Right, you know? Later, I'll take care. Yeah, I'll send a good night in the chat. Thank you so much for, for hanging with us. Thank you for coming in and saying hello. I definitely appreciate it. Appreciate it always. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Excellent evening. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Hope you rest well. Yes, it was. I bought the Iliad to read afterwards. Hey! On a good little kick. Let's see. I can't necessarily remember much that I've, uh... 
As far as books, I'm very sparse. Very sparse. I tend to have, like, issues focusing, so it's hard for me um, to read, like, full read. Uh, which I wanted to read on my, on this chat. <laughs> I keep, like, I'm used to streaming elsewhere and saying my YouTube channel, but we're here. We're, we're here. <laughs> on the channel. Um, want to read some books on here, uh, and it'd be cool, but for the most part, in order for me to, like, be able to focus, I gotta have, like, audiobook or it has to be, like, a manga or something like that so I can, like, see what's happening because if it's left to my imagination my I have no focus in my imagination so like when I'm like reading things and visualizing it like my visualization will just like go off in random directions or I'll start thinking about other stuff and then it's like I'll have to like reread the same page like 80 times <laughs> before I can continue Saw a streamer that had a little thing that gave every viewer an animated character to have on screen for the starting stream screen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, I've looked into that. Um, heck, I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, but I've seen that around and it's so cute. Um, the only issue is that it's a paid service. Uh, which I mean makes sense, like, of course, you know, the artists that help develop it, the coders that help develop it, like, deserve to get paid for their work um but not something i could personally afford on top of the other subscriptions i have to maintain for the stream and the server and all that stuff um but that that stuff is super cute i love seeing it um there's other streams i've seen that like where they like the entire because I was gonna like when I was looking into it I was like I can fill up the entire little bomb section of the starting sc soon screen or the camera screen like set up little uh like 8 bit uh Silent Hill characters or something or, like Adventure Time would be cool same audiobooks a blessing <laughs> some some to do audio while reading the text last one I listened to was I have no mouth but I must scream hmm <laughs> that sounds that sounds cool. I um the last book I listened to, which honestly I have I think I have access to like free audiobooks and stuff. Actually, no, there's a uh website I just retweeted um that does free audiobooks. And like Yeah. Yeah. Um uh, I'll, I might try to find that um, while we're chilling, while we're chilling with our our friend on the screen. Um, Cause that was very very good little link. It was like a link to a Tumblr post, I think. As as per the usual. <laughs> um. Oh, there is no link. It didn't get, uh, there wasn't a link to it. But there's an app called, uh, Libby. It'll be B-Y. Um. That has, that's 100% free, has thousands of old and brand new audiobooks, and all you need is your library card number. So, like, use, you know, get a library card, which supports your local libraries, right? Uh, which is just very, very cool and very awesome in general. Um, gets your library as more funding when you get a library card. And then, so, if you use Libby, then you just get put in your library card number and get set up. Ooh, website, let me know when your name comes to you. Yeah, uh, Libby. I can type it in chat. Um... And then I can also, I don't know, I'll, I'll keep, uh, keep drawing and stuff, but apparently it's an app. Um, I just, like, retweeted where somebody was talking about it. They didn't ever throw a link in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, they were talking about 
like because apparently Spotify is doing audiobooks now as well and um so they were like so Spotify is doing audiobooks now uh and so is audiobook but instead of supporting either of those companies uh just use this app called Libby where you know you use your library card um and I'm sure they made the same same points I just did about the benefits of getting a library card uh, later in their thread, but yeah. You just went and get a new library card a few months ago. Hey, awesome, awesome! We love to see it. We love to see it. I uh, I probably need to get I need to get a new library card. Uh, I really want to get library cards at some of these other local libraries um like specifically in the the city i live in um mainly because my city is trying to defund and cut down all the libraries uh cut all their funding and then blame them for it so fuck that noise uh, we're getting library cards and we're encouraging people to go to the library <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, very, very classic for the city to cut funding to libraries in the millions of dollars and then tunnel it straight into policing. Um... You know, where we live, where we live. Unfortunately expected. My library is so close, so nice and efficient. Hey, slightly outdated, but clean and easy. Yeah, libraries help so many people. So many people. Honestly, once I get my bike, that might be one of the first- or not- <laughs> I might get my bike. Uh, once I fix this bike, I can, uh, actually ride down and... Get my card. Help me scan my name, change docs, and get copies and whatnot. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And that's like... I'm probably ruining my makeup. So much for, uh, for filming after this. My eyelashes decided that wasn't gonna happen. Mine's a little far but cozy. One of librarians is a mother of an old classmate of mine. Hey! That's very cool. That's very cool. Love when we get personal connections. Also, I don't know. I haven't ever been in a library that hasn't been, like, very, very chill. Like, most, like, every library I've ever been in has been, like, good vibes. Good vibes all around. <laughs> Even when, you know, they didn't be outdated or the funding slow, they still still carry the vibes. We like good vibes. Yeah. Always, always. I'm trying to visualize this in 3D space, but it's heckin' hurting. Libraries just exude safety. Yeah. For real. 
It's like this is safe zone. We're here to learn. Wish I could work somewhere with good vibes like that all the time, but unfortunately. <laughs> I feel, I feel. And apparently library oh apparently librarians don't even get paid much for all the all the stuff they end up doing. Actually what's really cool is like I haven't met I haven't even met a librarian that wasn't an activist. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and merge below. Just, like, around that. Also seems like the delay is less at the moment, however, CC is also not running. Not sure if you're aware of that. I guess CC might have broken. Um. No, it's supposed to still be working. Uh, it definitely didn't let me know that it's not working, um, because right now it says it's still on. I'm guessing they just goofed. Also, for whatever reason, my category is set to gaming, even though I specifically set it over to people and blogs. Yeah, honestly, I got I got so much on my on my plate, um, as far as like working and like setting up new stuff. So transitioning over to OBS is gonna be hard, um, but uh, definitely think that might be the route that I end up going. So I don't have to be paying Streamlabs, and then I don't have to do any of that. And I can set up my multi-stream on there and set up my, uh, set up closed captions integrated, um, and all that, all that business. Honestly, don't have to deal with updates that, like, ruin the application. Um, and yeah, yeah, I mean, everything should just transition over, like, no problem. Honestly, I could probably download everything and, like, move it over without having to try too hard. Um, but we'll see. Either way, it wouldn't be too difficult to just, like, rebuild my scenes. Um, it'd just take, like, a day of work. Uh, then multi-stream should be free through OBS, so I don't have to pay for that. Um, once I get my website set up, uh, on Tumblr and all that, which I gotta learn HTML for, um, should be solid, should be solid and not have to pay this application anymore. Because I cannot afford it. <laughs> I cannot afford it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. OBS worked for me when I try my hand at streaming. Yeah, honestly, I wish I had jumped into it sooner. It's just like there's so many integrations that work with slobs. Um, but now that we're not even like on the other application, there's actually no. I don't get access to those integrations at all, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, yeah. Oh, especially since I'm not even on Teespring anymore, I'm moving my shop over to Ko-Fi. Like, hell yeah, this, <laughs> there's absolutely no reason uh, for me to stick around the, on on slobs. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll be working on that. Actually, let me add that to my to-do list. Let me add that to my to-do list. Yeah, there we go. Apparently, I let my mouse go too long. Um... Oop. There we go. These reference apps I'm not even using anymore. Um, but yeah. Uh, once I get that set up, I can literally run integrated, uh... Integrated closed captions, which means latency will be way down. 
Uh, no more 20 seconds of latency. Um, and then won't have to worry about like whether or not my videos have closed captions because they'll have them at the bottom of the screen always. Um, also in a way that's not like covering up anything on the screen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they'll just let in general be be way way better. Um, stuff to work towards, I guess. Stuff to work towards. Uh, obviously got got a lot of stuff on my on my plate at the moment anyway and then again i gotta gotta rebuild my website on tumblr before i can uh set it up elsewhere elsewise um yeah yeah uh for now everything works so or i mean obviously the closed captions broke for whatever reason. Um, hopefully it doesn't break for the VOD as well, that would suck. That'd very much suck. Uh, I wouldn't think it would since it's like automatic and so it's like running each time. I don't know. I don't know. this where it's like we gotta like whip it around this way right I also want it twisting up so actually this motion shouldn't be here it'd be more like oh I thought somebody said something it was streamlapse um yeah, because then I can do Nightbot as well, and Nightbot will just like look cooler in chat than Streamlabs bot would or does. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, way better. Everything be way better. Else wise. Um. Wait. give more context for how everything fits. Uh, it's like a big hookworm. <laughs> twist face reminds me of something get pen what it is I don't know hard to say uh I think, um, uh, OGWP, uh, Thunder King was pretty close in saying it was, like, very, very Jeepers Creepers. With, like, the hat and everything.
All I know. I don't know what Jeepers Creepers is. Oh, uh, it's. <laughs> All I know is that's what people said a lot on TikTok. Oh, saying I looked like Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> uh, it's another horror movie. It's like. I don't even remember a lot of it. I just know there's like. Uh, I don't know if there's a Halloween store called it. Um, it would, that would make a lot of sense, though. Uh, but... I know the character from, like, the horror movie... Wait. Is that the name of the horror movie as well? I think it's the name of the movie. And then... Also the character name. Um... Heck. I can look it up. I can pull it up. Uh... Oh, my mouse is off. I was like, what? What is going on? Uh... Same thing. Flip it over. And... Images... <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, I just laughed because of, like, the face that greeted me in this image search, knowing that people, uh, repeatedly called me Jeepers Creepers. I'm assuming it was mostly the teeth, of course, but... Yeah. It's so, like, it's got, like, the hat and stuff. That's really cool makeup. That's really, really cool makeup. That makes no sense. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Some really cool makeup uh, on this character. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I like I like this uh, drawing screen because I can just like whip everything over where it, like ow. <laughs> Face isn't all stretchy and scaly. <laughs> no. I mean, people were just, like, throwing out whatever insults they could, honestly. I mean, plus I had different teeth in. So, like, right now I got, like, these, uh, silver-colored, uh, bat teeth. Like, with the, like, little split in the middle. Um, but I was, uh, usually wearing these, like, Pennywise esque teeth um which honestly i'd be down to wear again for a stream i like the ones i wear now more um personally uh but these do get a lot of engagement because people think they're like legit <laughs> and like that they're real <laughs> and i shaved them down <laughs> um which is frustrating to deal with like as far as like correcting people but uh it's still pretty fun and pretty funny that people assume it's real um but yeah yeah as far as this back end goes i don't know if i want to do legs now because like i thought about the the tapeworm and i'm like hmm, like a flatworm and worms are horrifying. I... Worms is... Oh. Oh. I cannot stand worms. <laughs> cannot stand them. 
Earthworms are cool, like the little round, the cute looking ones, fine. And it, once they get like flat or like have a face on them or open their mouths. <laughs> Remember then found you on TikTok at first. Yeah, I think most people found me on found me on TikTok. Uh only exception being uh, a couple of people in the Discord that met me, or like knew me through personal acquaintances. Veneers cost an arm and a leg. Just use a nail file for real. <laughs> yeah, well I mean these aren't too bad. Uh, I think normally they're like 70-ish. And then uh, they're $50 on the... $50 on a uh, sale and they do sales pretty often but it's also like you can only really justify that kind of or I could only justify that kind of expense doing what I do <laughs> as opposed to like uh, I don't know for just like night out reasons or anything like that which I mean now that everybody's wearing or I mean everybody should be wearing masks um not not necessarily the uh great use for for teeth like this unless you're doing entertainment things cannot stand lampreys and jawless wormfish Ooh. Ooh. no have have y'all seen the uh the oh what are they called they're like the arctic scale worms y'all know what those look like do y'all want to be horrified Y'all want to be horrified in like a real way, <laughs> in a way that scares me. <laughs> Since we doing the creepy art thing, <laughs> chilling with you chompers out. <laughs> always, always a good, good reason to have have the veneers. I have not, but I soon will. I think that's I think that's what they're called. Uh, might have at least at the very least I think it'll like pull up what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm 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 mm. -mm. I'm not I'm not even showing that on stream <laughs> I'm not even oh that would be terrifying if there was like a we get a sound alert redeem that just shows like an image of one of those <laughs> no uh terrifying terrifying cannot stand those damn things especially with how big they are no makes me want to cry <laughs> it makes me just makes me want to cry um but yeah let's get the rest of this worm bot in segmented worm bod what are they called uh Arctic scale worm, yeah, or yeah, Arctic worm fish also work. Also finds <laughs> remind me to stay the fuck away from the Arctic, <laughs> right? No, 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 thank you, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, Arctic scale worms. I mean, to be fair, like the backs of them look like really pretty, like some golden little tendrils and stuff like if it was on if it was on anything else if it was on literally anything else besides that like 
horrific ass face. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh uh, uh uh. Pass for me. <laughs> no, literally. Cannot. Cannot. That's why the best horror originates in nature. Was that shit scary? Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> Where is his eyes? I don't think it has any eyes. I think it's just blind. I think it just roams the roams the sea based on uh, various other sensory inputs. Um, or it latches on with those like gnarly ass front teeth to whatever whatever it's munching on. <laughs> if I looked like that, I wish I wouldn't have eyes too. <laughs> yeah, those things are so terrifying. One of the few things that like hurts me to look at. I remember the first time I saw one too, I was just like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> no thank you, no thank you. I don't know. 
<laughs> just a good old ugh. Getting Scorpion. Yeah, I feel like it still keeps a lot of the same vibes from uh like the orig original intention of it. So has the low set feelings from like the scorpion. We still have like a lot of the wriggling from the from whatever it was like, oh just do a centipede instead. And then we got our uh now that it's more of like a flatworm-esque kind of body deal. We got uh that worked in. Let's see. Can't necessarily have it eaten food out of this mouth. Uh oh. Dang it. We're trying to move stuff. Creepy crawly metal <laughs> Focus on my mapping for now. Alrighty, alrighty, thank you for the lurk. Let me run the uh the lurk thingy. Bow. Raven Bee is now sinking to the fog. They will view the stream from the abyss. Thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for hanging out as well. I did get Picasso. <laughs> I kind of want to put fang teeth in here, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. Most men can't find the fang teeth. <laughs> I'll just instead do like a bunch of bunch of smaller teeth. All those teeth, what will they chew? I'm thinking maybe it's one of those that like just just like grips and pulls it in and then does all its digesting on the inside. <laughs> or like rows upon rows. No chewing for this friend. Um, but yeah, yeah. Heck, I'm like Hmm. Which I mean, I know art streams usually don't last that long. Or like whenever I do them. Um, anyway. But... If I want to film, then I might have to end soon. Uh, so I can at least get like one or two things filmed. Um... Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Especially now that we're like on a on a closing on this on this piece. Um I think I will head out as well. So I can 
do the videos. I hopefully have... Oh man. I don't even feel like doing that, actually. I'm tired. <laughs> we'll see what I get done. I'm gonna chill out for a bit. Um, and then try to film, and then... We'll see what happens. Um... Heck, heck. But, uh, thank you, thank you all for, for chilling. Sorry I couldn't go longer. Um, hopefully I'll still be able to, like, film and stuff and haven't, like, lost the energy for that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, heck. I can get some stuff done, but remember, like, some as well. I try, I try. I'm definitely gonna get some food. Hopefully that'll give me energies. Uh, I gotta reapply my lip lipstick anyway, so it'll be fine. Uh, wish you a productive and relaxing rest of your day and night. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Raven. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. Thank you all the folks that are just chilling or lurking. I appreciate, I appreciate it all. I appreciate everybody's interaction and engagement and, you know, just coming in and chilling and hanging out. Always a fun time. Always a fun time. We got friends to chat with. Um, heck, I got like a whole thing. I gotta. Um, but brain. Sorry. Uh, I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? When when did this happen? Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Brain. Uh, I'm gonna send a good night all in the chat with all of the links and the stuff and the things. Um, besides that, oh, thank you for the for the Discord one as well. Run the Discord link. Um, so everybody can come chill in the COVID crypt outside of stream. Also do uh, live notifications in the Discord. Um, as well. Uh, but yeah. Heck, what what else am I supposed to say? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to do the like YouTube stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the the video or the stream, please consider leaving a like. Uh, it helps like the algorithm, and you know, engagement helps, like push my content to new folks that might be interested in, in chilling with us and hanging out. Um, also, if you enjoyed and haven't left a sub yet, please consider doing so if you enjoyed the content, because you know, you know, you know. We got the sub goal of 100, 100 subs, and we're pretty close to it. And same thing, every little bit helps. Um, besides that, I got merch store. Ko-Fi has my commissions and my shop on it, uh, if anybody wants to support me that way. But, um, one day I'll get better at closing out streams. <laughs> uh, but thank you all, thank you all so much, thank you everybody that's just been chilling, like, um, you know, I appreciate you all. And, uh, oh yeah, specific, or I'll, I'll run the credits uh, on the end screen whenever I pull it up. But also, thank you, Howl, and thank you, Q, for both coming in with the uh, the Ko-Fi support in the middle of the stream. Always, always appreciated. Um, yeah, more than considered. It's done. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, hopefully, or er, heck, brain. The sentence, the sentence I was constructing, just disappeared. How am I supposed to gonna? How am I? How am I supposed to gonna be able? <laughs> how am I gonna be able to film? Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely gonna be getting some rest soon. Either way, uh, but oh no! And then the thought's just gone. It's just, they're just gone. Um. Hope everybody has an excellent evening. Thank you all so much. I'm gonna go ahead and in-stream out, but yeah. Uh, oh, that's what I was gonna say. I'm gonna be back on Tuesday. Tuesday's my next stream. 
uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 8 p.m. CST. So I'll see a few of the. I'll see y'all there. Bye bye.